Hello, can't say bonjour, good morning, and welcome to another version of Powwow Dance Aerobics. I'm your host, Dallas Arcan, and it's another beautiful day today. Grateful again for another day. As we say in our indigenous culture, you know, every day is a beautiful day when you wake up in the morning, and regardless of the weather, you just have to make the best of your day. So that's why I've titled today's lesson, Life's Lemonade, because yesterday was life's lemons, but today, Mother Nature served us some lemonade because it's snowing. It's snowing in end of May. So what do I gotta say? Hey, let's just all eat hay. <laughs> Anyways, um, I figured I would share uh, the same quote that I said yesterday because it makes sense today because, yeah, it's, it's just kind of interesting that it's snowing. And either way, I'm making the best of it. Hey, the, uh, the roof is still leaking here and I'm still trying to fix it. So I guess I'm still, I'm still dealing with the same problems. But that's okay when when the same problem occurs don't run away from it just deal with it and that's all i gotta do to uh keep this thing going so i will read the the quote that i did from yesterday in case you missed it so again good morning everybody so here's the quote the quote that i wrote today is a new day and it's up to you to make the best of it every day can be a good day if you make it that way Either way, it's up to you. Even when things aren't perfect or going your way, take a deep breath, seek the positive attributes in your situation. Living like this will always teach you how to make lemonade out of life's lemons that are given to you. So live, laugh, learn, and you'll always find happiness even in the darkest moments. It's just a quote that I wrote. And I've been doing a lot more writing lately, and I plan to write a book someday. So good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining. We're going to get right into the class now. I want to make the most efficient use of our time. So the best way is just to start dancing. So this is the Young Bear Singers. And uh, if you like their music, check them out on Apple Music, iTunes, Apple uh, So be prepared to sweat and work out. And I hope you guys got your sweat clothes on. So this is our basic step. So right, left. One, two, one, two. And keep the rhythm like this. And that's how you find the rhythm of the song that you're hearing. So listen for those honor beats. Those are in the second verse of the song. So when those honor beats come on, our music works. So the next part of the song is the pickup. So this is where we gotta pick it up a little bit. Put a little bit of a bounce to your step. Pick it up. And this is where our heart rate is gonna go up now. So if you're ready for this, let's do this. Again, find that rhythm. Thank you. 
seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. song now we're gonna get into the meditation stretching part now that we're all warmed up welcome and good morning everybody now take your mind now that our heart is pounding now take your mind and get into that that peaceful meditation place breathe in deep through your nose and out your mouth and connect with that spirit, your spirit and all the spirits, all the good spiritual energy around you as we do powwow dance aerobics. It's not only about exercising the body, it's exercising the mind and exercising your emotions and expressing them through dance. And now, we connect with our body and our spirit and everything. So the best way to start stretching is start out small. So we're working on our wrists first and we're gonna work our way into our body. This helps loosen up the joints and stretching is a part of exercising and working out and promotes good blood circulation and, and it helps work out the kinks in the body and 
This is the best medicine you can give yourself is rehabilitation by strengthening your body and, and it helps. Not only does it help you become a good dancer, but it also helps you in connecting with yourself and your, and your culture. Well, in this specific case, the indigenous culture, and that's how we do things here. So I, I just wanted to share this with you this morning. So now lock your hands together, try to pull them apart, but don't actually pull them apart and that'll give you a nice upper shoulder stretch. You should feel that stretch in the top of your shoulder blades. And if you twist it like this, it'll, it'll help with the lower lumbar area and your lower back, back and forth like that. And the next part is we do these twists like this, back and forth. Keep your legs firmly planted in the ground and a nice twist like this. And you might feel or hear a little click in your back and don't worry about that. You're just realigning yourself. So lean forward now and give it a nice stretch and loosen things up. Now lean backwards now and that'll stretch your core area, your ribs and all that stuff. It's all good stuff. So don't worry, we warmed up first. Now we're doing the stretching part. So tilt your neck to the side and allow your neck to stretch out. And the other side. And then from left to right, aim your chin to your chest and roll that back a few times. Oh, I felt a little click there, that's good. Okay, now put your hand on your shoulder and lean away from it. That gives you a little bit more intensified deep tissue stretch inside of your neck and shoulders. And this is, every muscle is important to stretch because it helps with good circulation in your body and it helps with all that. So I'm already sweating and that was the first two songs. So let's keep going with a nice good stretch and we'll get back into the dance exercise aerobics part. So hands behind your head, lean your elbow towards your knee, and you should feel that stretch. It's a really good stretch. It stretches, stretches the inside of your leg and out here, just like that. All right. Now we go to our triceps and shoulder muscle. So you just keep your arms straight like that, pull it towards your body. And like that. And this is our native style, our indigenous style flute music. This is my very own music. Comes from my one of my very first albums, Picking Sweetgrass. Picking Sweetgrass is one of our, our indigenous traditions and where we go and pick the purple rooted grass from, from the land and we use it to smudge ourselves. So doing this morning workout is the exact same thing. It's like smudging yourself, but with dancing and indulging yourself in the culture. So that's what it's really all about here for powwow dance aerobics. So like how they use yoga for exercise, this is how we use our indigenous cultural dancing for exercising and wellness. So that's what I thought I would share about this morning. Now the next stretch we're going to get to is the ankle stretch and where you do circles with your ankle and back and forth and it's very important to stretch every joint in the body every muscle because you use those you use different parts of your body throughout the day for walking dancing whatever sitting working whatever kind of work that you do now the next stretch from here would be this one to stretch your calf muscle keep this leg straight and do lean onto this one and bend it and you should feel that stretch nicely on your calf muscle and the back of your leg muscle. So stretching these muscles is very, very important. Especially as you get older. Uh, the older you get, the more your body starts to weaken and deteriorate. So it's important to do that every day. We need exercise like we need food every day. Plant your foot, your heel firmly into the ground, toe up, reach forward and grab for your toe. And this will stretch nicely underneath your leg. 
Okay, sorry about that. I have it on a playlist here. I'll just get back to the flute music. So, the flute music is very, very calming and very, very beautiful. It can also help with your sleep as well if you have trouble sleeping at night. Doing this kind of workout is better than taking pills or anything like that. You know, pills is only a temporary remedy. Rehabilitation is a full-time remedy and a cure to a lot of ailments in the body. Now let's keep stretching. As we go into the quadricep and the hip area and you just pull your pull your own leg and uh, you hold that for about 10 seconds that stretches the top of your foot as well as your quad muscle and your hip and doing these stretches will not only make you feel good but it'll give you energy throughout the day and doing this is the best self-love and self-care that you could ever give yourself now let's go back into the stretching part Keep your legs nice and straight and uh, basically you lean forward and touch your toes if you can. If not, grab your ankles and hold and then we go back up and to add variety to this stretch, put your left foot over your right foot and then lean forward. Now I'll teach you a, a new Cree word for the day. The Cree word that I want to teach you is called Mewasin. Mewasin, what's, what that means in Cree, is it means it's good. And that's what we're here for. We're here to do good for ourselves and each other. So thank you for joining me and good morning everybody. This is Pow Wow Dance Aerobics and this is how we self love and self care yourself because the best investment that you could ever give yourself is is to give yourself that self-love and that self-care and it's only for you this only takes a little bit of your time about 20 minutes of dancing burns about 700 calories and when I'm training in training mode for my hoop dancing as you know I'm a three-time world champion hoop dancer and a lot of times when I train I play an entire powwow CD and dance to it for about an hour long but that's just me but I'm here to work with you and share with you this morning workout. So thanks for joining me, everybody. And it's always, always wonderful to see you all. And I hope you guys are doing well. Now let's go back into the dancing part and we're gonna do some dance combinations. And I'll explain the music as I go along because our music is very different, our indigenous style powwow music. It always follows the, the four format, which is also uh, related to the medicine wheel. Now, if you know about the, the medicine wheel, it's basically a, a wheel uh, with four sides and four colors. And those four colors, they represent for the four colors of Mother Earth, which in our case in the Cree culture is the blue, the white, the red, and the yellow. And basically it represents for those four seasons. So in that song, it perpetually, it perpetually uh, uh, goes on that concept of the four. That's why we have four starts in our songs and everything in our culture comes in fours. So I just thought I would share that with you, a little bit of uh, insight. Now let's go back into the Young Bear Singers and we're gonna make sure to have some water. Cheers, water is life. In Cree, Nipi, water. All right, first combination. Five, six, seven, eight, little toe tap.
is going to work the lower body really good. You'll feel it in your lower back as well. And at the same time, whenever I'm talking like this, make sure you keep the beat. As you notice, my feet are still moving to the beat. Okay, now let's go down low and really work those muscles. We're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. having a good sweat we got a couple more songs and then we'll do a cool down this is important to do the cool down so good morning everyone okay now while while we're we'll, we'll just have a little break for a moment here and I'll explain the music to you again and let's start that song over again so what you got to listen for in our indigenous style power music is you gotta listen for the lead and then the pickup, verse one, verse two. That's four, and you repeat that four times. So here's the lead. So there's the lead, lead singer. And now the rest of the group picks up that melody. And then we go into verse one. All right. So this is the Young Bear Singers. If you like their music, please download them and check them out on Apple Music, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. And I'm only doing this for educational purposes and not for profit. So um, thank you Facebook Live for allowing me to, to work with you and this music. And the flute music from before is my very own flute music from Dallas Arcan, yours truly. All right, second start. So there you go. So remember, listen for those four parts, and you'll always know where the music is. So for the, the start, the pickup, verse one, verse two. Verse two is where you hear those boom, 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 where you'll hear those honor beats. So that's how you know where you're at in the song. All right, so let's go into the song now. Okay, verse two this is where you hear those beats. So one. stop on the song and how the songs go okay crow hop time so crow hop every song has that same format even the crow hop but the only thing about the crow hop 
is in between the verses, they have a drop beat. And the drop beat is where that really hard beat comes. It's coming right here. That's how you know, and that's the difference between some of the songs and the styles. So I'm gonna start that over again, and now let's go into the crow hop, and we'll do some crow hop moves. Legs nice and high, and jump as high as you can. the the curl hop now let's do uh, cool down and that's really important because we just worked our butts off this morning so congratulations if you followed along and you're sweating and that's what the objective here is Get a sweat going to get your body perspirating because now we brought our heart rate way up we now, we now have to bring it down this is a really crucial important part of exercising and working out now, i've been to many powwows and uh, a lot of the a lot of the dancers after contest after they're dancing uh, really hard their hardest dancing their heart out on the arbor You'll see them walking around after, uh, just like a thoroughbred horse after running a race. And the thoroughbred horse's heart is racing. But now, this is the cool down time where you have to walk. So keep doing that basic step, just like that, one, two step. And I'll tell you, I'll explain a little bit more. So I thought I would share that with you today. And it's okay to have some water. Definitely have some water, so cheers to that. Uh, and any questions that you guys have, just leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll get to them later. I apologize uh, if I can't get to them now. <laughs> I'm really trying to focus on the uh, dancing and keep this class going and uh, that's my job. You know, I've taught many classes over the years and schools and workshops and I'm really grateful for powwow because it saved my life and it's made me it's made me the man I am today and I'm really grateful for the indigenous culture my indigenous culture my indigenous heritage and roots it has given me a sense of belonging a sense of identity and if you're indigenous you know I'm, I'm sure you can relate even if you're not indigenous, I invite my non-indigenous friends to come in and dance with us and learn. 
because indigenous people, we also do other things like yoga, martial arts, uh, Zumba, whatever, you know, all these different things in the world. And uh, I'm inviting you to come and join us now for some of this dancing. And I see that a lot of people have been, and I see different people from around the world joining this channel and this live feed that I do every day just to promote wellness and our community and your community from my home fire to your home fire I give you this gift and the best gift that you can give anybody is your time so thank you for giving me some of yours while I give you some of mine and that's a good that's a good exchange that's a good honor so thank you all so much for joining in and you know I've, I've had a really good workout this morning and I feel good and the good thing about it is you're gonna feel good and you're gonna look good so let's keep the cool down going I'm feeling almost all the way cool so let me just uh, yeah let me just play another quick song for you the young bear singers all right this is really good all right awesome so thanks again everybody for joining along and uh, I actually was part of a a hoop dance contest yesterday and it was an online contest but um, I'll tell you what I did though I I didn't compete in the hoop dance contest because you know I've already I've already done, done my share of competing and it's never really been something I've been comfortable with you know to be a, a top competitor is you really have to sacrifice a lot of your time and a lot of your your efforts so I've done my share at the world championships and other competitions but I just seen this young lady by the, by the name of uh, Melissa Greenbird and she's uh, she's fairly new to hoop dancing and I seen how hard that she tries she even tried to get me to give her some lessons as well in hoop dancing and I told her that you know I'd, I'd rather her just come to this channel and dance with us daily and and join this channel and, and dance and I'm not sure if she has or she could but anyways uh, I was really honored and touched by her story and, and how she's dedicated to hoop dance and and how she's you know she's I don't think she makes a lot of money but she was willing to offer all that she had to for somebody to teach her but I said you know all it takes is time and repetition because repetition is the mother of all skill and so what I did for her yesterday is I did an honor dance and I didn't compete in this contest and I, I did it in honor of the youth of the future generations because those are the ones we need to invest in the most and for our indigenous youth they need they need a lot of help you know that because when I was growing up you know I didn't really have a lot of help so I know how it is to not have mentorship and people to look up to and that's what our our indigenous youth need a lot more out there and that's what I that's what I do you know I know I'm not perfect or anything like that and I'm not trying to be a role model or anything like that all I'm doing is giving some of my time and some of my my hope and efforts into the future generations and um, you know I'm really proud and grateful for my son Dallas Jr for him continuing on to dance and a lot of those hoop dancers that I've taught over the years. So uh, now that we've done our cool down, I'd like to give you a quick little hoop lesson tutorial for all of you hoop dance enthusiasts. Now I'm gonna show you a really cool move and um, if you do have hoops or whatever, you know, one thing is uh, learning how to dance, but the other thing is learning how to work with these. So how these hoops work, is indigenous style hoop dancing is very different from hula hooping. Hula hooping is like an art and, and it's, um, you know, it can be in circus, it can be in contemporary settings like clubs, festivals, they do fire hoops and all kinds of stuff. And it's a lot of it's spinning and, and it's different. Ours comes from a ceremony, the indigenous style hoop dance. It comes from that ceremony background. Now I'm gonna cut the music for now. Just, you know, just give Young Bear singers a little break there. You know, the singers do like breaks in between. So uh, what I'm gonna teach you is the, the, the very basic five hoop routine or, or so just one very basic move with five hoops, just to demonstrate to you and show you 
the difference between hula hooping and indigenous style hoop dancing. Now this move that I'm about to go into, it's a bird formation and the bird, uh, specifically the eagle, is one of the, the highest, um, most honored creatures in the animal kingdom in the indigenous world because it's our belief that when we smudge and we say our prayers, it goes up to the eagle and the eagle takes it up to the creator. And that's how it's uh, related and correlated. So I just thought I would share that. So now, if you have five hoops, basically what you do on each side, and you can always rewind this video later to, to check it out. So basically you put this middle hoop in between these two hoops on each side like this. And you hold them like this. You hold them with your fingers like that your trigger finger on there and basically all you got to do is you flip this over you make yourself a, a little a little hole there for your that's where it's going to go onto your head and you go like this put it onto your head like that like an accordion it goes on and then all you do from here so your trigger finger is still on it and all you do from here is you actually let go of this and your hands are free and all you got to do is put your hands through this reach out over and under and you grab these two hoops right from here and all you, all we have to do from here is bring this up over our head and through the back of our shoulders and then from here we push out our wings and then this folds out and this folds out just like a transformer so there you go there's the eagle formation for you that's the very basic winged formation that we do as hoop dancers. And once you figure this out, then it ties and connects to many other moves. So for example, you can bring this over and start to fly. You can, because this is a storytelling dance that we do to tell our connection with the great spirit and the natural world around us. And then from here, you can flip it around again. This yellow hoop, notice as it drops in the middle, and then you anchor it with each pinky finger like this. And then you, you center it and it makes a nice floral design like a flower. So there's your floral design. So, and then from here, you can actually, you can do several different moves. You can make it into a basket if you flip it like this. And there's your basket. And basket is, is a traditional, traditional tool that our ancestors used. And that we still use today in our homes. We have laundry baskets. You know, it's very sacred because the basket symbolizes a lot of things. It symbolizes family. It symbolizes tradition. It symbolizes community and all those different things. And, and if you flip it around again, you can go back into, into this wing formation. And then to finish it off, all you can do, all you do from here is put this around your neck and this around your neck. And I believe some of the earlier hoop dancers they were the ones who came up with this move. I'm pretty sure Quentin Pipestem was the one who invented this move, but correct me if I'm wrong, I could be another hoop dancer, but I'm pretty sure it was Quentin Pipestem, also a three-time world champion from the Sutana Nation. If you're not familiar where Sutana is, it's also known as Sarsi. It's just outside of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I'm about four hours north from uh, Sutana and Alexander First Nation. And this is my, my home community and where I come from. So all you do from here is you cross these hoops over your back, bring them forward and place this hoop. And this is actually your locking hoop. It's a locking mechanism. And you gotta make sure you have enough room and your hair is not caught in there to bring this up. As soon as you get it through, you bring out one arm and you bring it down here to these two hoops and you bring this up and out and you slide out of it. And there you have your globe formation or your world or whatever you want to call it the planet the universe there's there's many different names for this i don't exactly name every single thing i do in the hoop dance but all i do is i connect to the spirit of it and that's what it's all about for hoop dancing so i just thought i would share that with you so there's no right or wrong way to define it but all the hoop dance is about is connecting to the spirit and understanding that you're connected to to many spirits and many different types of energy throughout mother nature so i just thought i would share that and uh also i i do have a, a documentary called hoop life so if you want to uh, 
if you want to get a hold of this, get a hold of me, inbox me, and uh, we'll figure out a way. But this is basically a documentary about hoop dancing that I've done, and it basically explains and shows uh, a lot of the different things I've done with hoop dancing over the years. As well, I do have some uh, music under the name DJ Crazy Cree. And again, the same message I shared before is future generations. And that's, that's our best investment is to invest in the future generations, our children, our, grand, our grandchildren. Those are the best investments we can make besides investing in ourselves and our health. And I just thought I would share that with you and uh, that little bit of a teaching. So if you'd also like to visit my website, www.dallasarcan.ca. I do have a website and uh, I do have a lot more information and a lot more tools that uh, you can use or if you, if you need a, a question answered, uh, I do have a lot of information there as well. So thanks again for tuning in. And uh, again, the Cree word for the day today is mewasin. That means it's good. It's, it's, it's really good. Mewasin. Or uh, if you want to combine it and do a little Kringlish word, you say mewa sensational. <laughs> so that's, that's another cool word uh, me and my buddies come up with. So until then, you guys keep fit, have fun, take care, and enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, I'm going to sign off now and uh, go about my day too. So I wish you all the best. And until then, we'll see you back here tomorrow at 7.30 in the morning. And peace out.